Hello my besties, Tia sa may Panggiliya here. The meaning of John 14, verse 15. Love God through obedience. My besties, hello everyone. Welcome back to our Tia sa may vlog. Today, we're going to dive deep into the meaning of John 14, verse 15 and explore what it truly means, okay, to love God. We will discuss how love for God requires action and obedience and how simply professing our love is not enough. So let's get started. All right, my besties, explaining John chapter 14, verse 15. In John 14, 15, Jesus Christ clearly states, if you love me, keep my commandments. So this verse emphasizes that love for God is not just a feeling, my besties, or an emotion. It requires action and obedience. You see, Jesus repeated this point five times, okay? Underscoring its importance. So understanding love, okay, for God, to truly love God, we must go beyond mere words and feelings. God wants us to demonstrate our love through obedience to his commandments. It's not enough to say, I love you, God, or sing praises to him. He desires our obedience. First Samuel 15 verse 22. So the prob problem with passive love, unfortunately, many people today have twisted the meaning of love, reducing it to a mere feeling Okay, they believe that feeling love for God is enough and nothing else is required. Besties, however, this passive love falls short of what God expects from us. You see, the importance of action, okay, is scriptures like 1 John 5 verse 1 are often taken out of context to support the idea that belief and love are sufficient, okay? However, verse 2 clarifies that loving God involves keeping His commandments. Real love for God requires action, not just belief or feelings. This is keeping all of God's commandments. Jesus didn't specify which commandments to keep. He simply said, keep my commandments. This implies that we should follow all his commandments, my besties, regardless of convenience or personal preference. You see, our love for God should extend to every aspect of our lives. So let's explore some examples, okay, to better understand how we can demonstrate our love for God through obedience. We can show love, besties, by honoring the Sabbath, being honest in our dealings, okay, showing kindness to others, and practicing forgiveness, okay. Each act of obedience reflects our love for God. So here are a few Bible verses, okay, that resonates or relate to the topic of loving God through obedience along with some explanations okay for each verse john 14 15 if you love me keep my commandments this is this verse is the focal point of our discussion jesus clearly states that love for him is demonstrate okay is demonstrated through obedience to his commandments it emphasizes okay the importance of action in love in our love for god okay so first samuel okay 15 verse 22 has the lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice and to listen than the fat of rams so best is in this verse okay samuel confront Saul for his obedience to God's command. It highlights that God values obedience 
more than external acts of worship. So true love for God is shown through obedience, my bestest. Not just religious rituals, okay? Like to offer a ram or stuff like that. So First John 5 verse 1, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. This verse, Bessis, is often used to support the idea that belief alone is enough for salvation. However, Bessis, verse 2, clarifies that loving God involves keeping His commandments. It emphasizes that genuine love for God includes obedience so Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 through 14 and he said to him you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind this is the great and first commandment and a second is like it okay you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And these two commandments depend all the law of the prophets. This is in this passage, Jesus summarizes the greatest commandments, okay? He emphasizes the importance of loving God with our entire being and loving our neighbors as ourselves. Obedience to these commandments reflects our love for God. James 2 verses 14 through 17. What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled without giving them the things needed for the body. What good is that? So also faith by itself. If it does not have works, it is dead. Best is this passage highlights the importance of faith accompanied by action. It emphasizes that true faith is demonstrated through good works and obedience. Love for God should be evident in our actions by basis towards others. So this, these verses collectively emphasizes that love for God requires more than just feelings okay, or beliefs. It demands action by basis and obedience by keeping His commandments and demonstrating okay, love through our actions. We show our love for God. My best is thank you all so much for joining me in exploring the meaning of John 14 verse 15. You see, and the importance of loving God through obedience. Okay, we have learned that love for God goes beyond mere words and feelings. It requires action and obedience to His commandments. Simply professing our love is not enough, okay? We must demonstrate it through our actions. This is we discussed, okay, the problem with passive love and the importance of active love that is rooted in obedience, okay? We explored various Bible verses that emphasizes the connection between love for God and obedience to Him. Okay, obedience to his commandments. So this verse as best is, reminds us that true love for God involves keeping his commandments and living a life that reflects his love. My best is, let, let us all remember, okay, that our love for God should extend to every aspect of our lives. It should be evident, okay, in how we honor the Sabbath, how we treat others with kindness and forgiveness, and how we live out His commandments, okay, in our daily lives. 
So as we conclude, Bessis, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and grace. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to understand understand the true meaning of love and to demonstrate it through our actions. Father God, please give us the strength and the wisdom to obey your commandments, Lord, and to love you wholeheartedly. May our lives be a reflection of your love and may we bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much again for joining me in this exploration of John 14 through 15 and the importance of loving God through obedience. May we all strive to love God with all our hearts and demonstrate that love through our actions. I love you all so much. God bless you all. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and comment below. And my besties, I would like to thank Mr. Damien, okay, for giving us this mirror. Lovely, lovely mirror right here. All right, so Mr. Damien, thank you so much, okay, for watching this video and to all our subscribers and followers. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. God bless. Bye.